Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to show you uh, several prints I did uh, using the E3D nozzle fun pack and the 0.15 nozzle. Uh, I did several test prints and, and tried to get the best possible resolution and the least possible resolution using the larger nozzles. Uh, I want to show you uh, the models and uh, some use cases maybe that would be uh, good for its, its type of nozzle and layer height. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to switch to the other camera and show you uh, in detail the models. The prints were made from 0.05 millimeter in layer height up to 0.5 millimeter in layer height and, and I'm gonna show you uh, the first uh, that is 0.5 printed with a 0.15 nozzle mm. so this model is is really detailed every detail in the model itself is, is visible uh, especially in the hair uh, the top layer in the hair is uh, it's quite detailed and there is no smudging of layers anywhere on the top of the shoulder it's also very smooth and no la layer lines visible uh, the only real layer lines are visible are uh, some variants in the filament color or, or heat uh, because of heat or, or in the filament but uh, it's super smooth in all directions. Uh, the, the polygons in the models are, are visible here on the, on the shoulder and uh, in the back also you can see the polygons. Uh, but the most detail in the model is in the hair. Um, the next model is, is printed also in 0 0.05 but with a 0 0.4 nozzle. Uh, overall, uh, I had uh, a little bit uh, problem here underneath the chin. Uh, maybe some retraction settings are needed to adjust to get rid of this. But uh, otherwise, the model is is really good. Also, there is a slight uh, difference in in detail at the top of the head, uh, but on the side layer. Here in the back, there isn't very much difference between the smaller nozzle, but on the top layers, uh, there is some di difference. Uh, the next uh, model is is printed also in 0 0.05, but with a 0 0.8 uh, millimeter nozzle, and this print had had a lot of uh, sits and and problems, uh, as you can see on the side. This is maybe retraction settings also uh, but detail is is much less and uh, maybe at the smooth surface in the back it's it's very smooth and very good but uh, in the hair hairline and and especially in the top there is like just a big blob in the top so uh, the bigger nozzle is is having a hard time on the top surfaces but on smooth side surfaces it's uh, doing okay. I also printed out uh, in vase mode a vase, uh, just a simple model I did in Fusion with the uh, straight edges at the bottom uh, with using a loft to soft edges on the top. Uh, this print was with a 0.15 nozzle using 0 0.05 uh, layer height and it's super smooth uh, in all directions but also super thin so uh, the bottom came off when I was taking it from the build plate and the layer adhesion is, is very poor because the layer is very thin so there's no strength in, in this part uh, this one I printed with a 0 0.4 nozzle also at a 0. 0.5 layer height. Um, this surface is, is excellent in all ways. Uh, 
uh, strength is much more on, on uh, everything about this print is near perfection i don't find any problems in it it's just super super smooth um, and then i got this print this is with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle but also in, in 0.05 layer height um, in most part it's smooth but there are some some parts of it that are rough uh, um, but it's a bit stronger and stiffer than a 0.4 nozzle print but uh, yeah so quality wise uh, 0.4 is, is doing a, the best job here and those samples and those two prints uh, this one is, is 0.4 nozzle and 0.2 layer height this is uh, probably the most common layer height I have been using and here on the top layers you can easily see the layers uh, that was not visible in with a 0.5 millimeter nozzle and detail in the hair is is far less and the top layer uh, on top of the head is is, is not very good uh, this one is with a 0.4 nozzle also but printed at 0.35 layer height and this model is very coarse and um, the top layers are not very beautiful and especially not on the head it's just a big blob um, and i had some uh, issues also underneath here uh, other prints came out quite well this was the only one that had this problem i'm, I'm not sure why this happened uh, but this was using the 0.4 millimeter nozzle this, this uh, print is, is with a 0 0.4 nozzle but 0 0.35 layer height and here you can see the layer lines uh, quite clear and, and some artifacts uh, like here it's some problem uh, but otherwise it's it's quite strong and um, pretty good for most parts uh, then uh, finally I have two prints uh, this one is, is uh, 0.05 layer height and but printed with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle this print is is quite thick and stiff uh, but I had some uh, sits uh, happening on the print like here uh, so the quality wasn't really great uh, uh, in some places like here it's it's quite smooth and very good uh, but uh, in this model uh, there are no sharp corners to speak of so uh, if I can uh, fix those issues uh, I'm not sure why it happened uh, this could be a, a, a good print uh, and then I have the most uh, coarse print this is 0 0.8 millimeter nozzle uh, and printing at 0 0.5 uh, in waste mode so the print quality is, is pretty good uh, there is no special problems uh, but layer height is, is uh, rather coarse so uh, so it actually looks quite nice on a on a waste mode I would say I don't think it's a, a failed uh, use case for this nozzle, but uh, unsetting. So this is quite okay, I think. And finally, uh, this model, this is printed with a 0 0.8 millimeter nozzle and at 0 0.5 millimeter uh, layer height. Um, uh, it's by far the the most rugged uh, model. Uh, top layers are are not very beautiful beautiful <laughs> uh, but uh, the layer lines are, are pretty good except from the head i had some air gaps so uh, print settings were okay i think for most part, parts but uh, you can see how rough uh, this print is so that was a lot of numbers <laughs> to read out for the models uh, i hope you don't get too confused uh, I noted down the print time uh, for each print. Uh, the, the print with the 0 0.05 uh, layer height and 0 0.15 nozzle uh, took 
58 hours and was by far the longest print. Uh, the same layer height with 0 0.4 nozzle was uh, 16 hours uh, and 30 minutes and the same layer height with 0 0.8 uh, nozzle was 10 and a half hours so uh, it uh, is a quite a bit difference in, in print time if you are switching from the 0 0.15 nozzle uh, to the 0 0.4 nozzle um, the shortest print I had with the vase was one hour and that was uh, that was with 0 0.55 millimeter layer height and uh, the 0 0.8 millimeter nozzle, uh, the, the most rough print that was the quickest, uh, uh, but the 0 0.35 layer height with 0 0.4, that was uh, just uh, just over one hour, maybe one hour and 15 minutes. Uh, I had uh, some problem with the 0 0.8 layer uh, uh, millimeter nozzle. Uh, so I slowed down the print quite a bit with that nozzle, so that explains a little bit why that was not so uh, much faster. Uh, the vase prints, uh, the longest vase print was taking 4.5 hours, while the shortest one was taking 26 minutes. So uh, it's quite a difference in, in the number of hours each print can take. Um, so, so uh, I think if if you're gonna wanna do high detail print, you can uh, go a long way with uh, a 0 0.4 or 0 0.25 millimeter nozzle. Uh, the extreme nozzle or the experimental nozzle 0 0.15 is is quite fun to play with, and was uh, I didn't have any problem printing with it. Uh, I did some extremely tiny prints with it uh, and I'll show you. So here are the tiny samples. I had a one nozzle to scale. Uh, lar the largest of those is is uh, has pretty much the same detail as a large print with 0 0.8 millimeter nozzle and, and 0 0.5 millimeter layer height. Uh, the other two are, are not so detailed. The smallest one is basically just my shoulders and a blob on top. Uh, the middle one is, is has some features in my face, like part of my nose, but the biggest one of those has my ears and the eyes and everything is, is visible in that. In that. So it's uh, amazing what you can do with a small nozzle. So if you're into uh, some resin cast casting or jewelry making this nozzle is definitely something you can have a look at and, and give it a go so here's a, a normal size head in the background with the small ones so you can see how tiny those are so this was all done with the e3d uh, nozzle fun pack uh, i got when i was waiting for the printer um, the addition is the 0 0.15 nozzle I ordered to try it also and that has been great fun as well. Uh, there are some other sizes in the box but I wanted to test the, the smallest, uh, the largest and the most common used in, in my printing in these tests. Um, uh, I guess everything in between those three nozzles is would give results uh, similar uh, to their sizes. So I didn't find the need to test everyone, but uh, it's great fun to play around with the no nozzle sizes and, and find out uh, what you can do with each size and benefits of using a big nozzle and uh, small nozzle and print time and print quality is something you always have to adjust based on your project. So if you, if you know your end goal then you can choose a nozzle uh, more easily so i hope this video has uh, give you some idea what to do with this this uh, nozzle pack and uh, i'm really happy with the uh, with the product it's 
super fun to play around with so it's a good name fun pack <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one